Okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. Last time I left off, we got to the moon and I think it's time about I think it's about time we crash this wedding. Hey Bowser, uh, how about- No. <laughs> like, why would Peach think she's safe? Like, Bowser's not even knocked out by any stretch. And... Great. Trap door. We totally haven't fallen for this before, Mario, have we? Friggin' Mario 64. How does that not crush your lungs, by the way? Uh huh. Look. If you probably invited me, I would have thrown a, a big hissy about this, Bowser. So starting out right off the bat trying to hit us. Too bad it didn't work last time, and it's not gonna work this time. So I learned your lesson, happy Bowser. Bye, wow, Bowser. I played Mario Party 2. This is nothing to me. My hat. Don't punch that, but I'll blow up right in your face. Okay, same routine. Oh, he does a double. Alright, he adds one more at a time, doesn't he? Nope. 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 Okay. I'm ready for you this time. One. Two. I don't know, like, counting out loud helps me concentrate, but it does. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah, cool. Okay. Kinda hope I can hit it. Back here is safe distance, I imagine. Okay, so you hit it, all of them go away too. That's okay. One, two, three. Okay, don't get nobody else. One, two, three. And you're out. Oh, no? One. Okay, well, that was done. Kind of sad I got hit twice, though. Now, how does that work? Was the ring magic? It didn't seem magical, but it apparently was. Uh, Princess Peach. I saved you. But... Now begins another begins another problem. Yep, it seems like we're going to go through a bit of a hassle getting out of here, huh? Uh oh. I got you, princess! It bows her apparently. Well Oh 
Oh, I'm sure escape sequence time. Okay. Ba 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 And now we have possessed Bowser for the first and only time. So whatever a platform you touch will turn to gold and will fall pretty much instantaneously after touching it. So map, map out and pay attention and close attention to the way you're doing. Also, I keep hearing those things to hurt you. But you can also break them. Uh, the gold chunks will like make your life a bit harder, but you could just get around it very easily. Okay, the platform's gonna be stable for a bit, so we gotta kind of do this. Have anything fall down. Break a lot more than anything should. Also, as we go through this tiny pipe. So Bowser freeze fire as we are going to run and get the heck out of here as fast as we can. Come on Bowser, we've done this paper, Super Paper Mario for the Wii. Uh, so it's just a typical of like Metroid S that is stage sequence. Look at that mark. Oh, and this one you gotta just keep pounding on until it gives way. We're almost out of here, but now we gotta break four pillars that surround the area. So let's get right to it. And of course, the main theme of the game, technically, is playing in the background as you're doing this. Such a lovely touch to the game, too. Or sorry, it's not the main theme, this is a uh, new theme entirely. Really cool song though, I really enjoy this one. But we have one more to go at this point, so now the floor is trying to actively kill us. I would just spend more time listening to the music, but I think it's about time we escape, huh? Keep pounding on the last one so we can escape, please. There we go. And that's it. We're done. And with that, we have beat Super Mario Odyssey. You know, granted, there's still a blunt ton of stuff we could do and I plan to do. But for right now, I just wanted to do a story mode, kind of quick little run. Later in the future, I definitely plan to come back to this game and do a lot more of it, but just kind of want to throw a couple recordings out there to get the LP scene going for my channel. <laughs> and Capri and his sisters reunited. That's good. Bowser doesn't want to lose. Mario, isn't it also a fire fire you're trying to give her? I guess it's better than the piranha plants. I keep forgetting that's where our people got that image from. Aww. 
Don't leave us on the moon! Mario has saved you from planets before! Why would you ditch him on the moon? Well, he's kinda deserved it, but still. And there you go. We got the credits of Super Mario Galaxy. I just said Galaxy. Super Mario Odyssey, my mistake. But yeah, as I said, there's a lot of side content in this game that, you know, if you're gonna go for 100%, we'll whip that we're going to go for eventually, once again, I don't have plans to do it right right now, because I'm not going to lie, I just sat through two days of recording this just to get it done and out of the way. But no, Mario, Mario Odyssey is actually a really good game, like, you can finish it super fast, but it doesn't really separate itself to, if you can finish a game super fast, it doesn't mean it has a, uh, it doesn't have a lot of replay value. Look at um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, for an example. I really do like Breath of the Wild, but that game is also super short. You can replay that a lot. But yeah, Mario Galaxy is a new thing entirely. Mario Galaxy... I gotta say, saying Galaxy is Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey has a lot of stuff to it. It has a lot of minigames, and it has a lot of character to it. And like, granted, I'm not the biggest Mario fan, considering I only started on Mario World. Like, so pretty much how my timeline slash history of Mario goes is Mario World, Mario Bros. 3, Mario 64, Mario Galaxy, oh, sorry, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy. And I didn't play Galaxy 2, but I played it and never beat it. And then I played a couple of the other Mario games, I think. I played a lot of the older ones for sure. But like, I'm not a big fan of platforming games, I'm definitely more of an action slash puzzle guy. I'm definitely... If you want me to say like, what an RPG, or what a, a Nintendo game for me would be, it'd probably be like, Legend of Zelda. I would probably say Legend of Zelda just due to the fact that it's puzzles, it's very oriented around puzzles and some of that, and it's definitely breathtaking in a couple, a couple ways. But Mario's also had that a couple moments with me too, like, I don't like Mario as much as Zelda, weirdly enough. But, yeah, once again, Mario has a ton of flavor to it, a ton of, uh, ideas I like. And, for Mario, this was a pretty alright game, like, I played, actually, in our, in our game I like Mario, I played with probably Cat and Toad. And we all know how much I like Cat and Toad. But yeah, like, Mario as it is, it's fine. I don't really have anything bad to say about it, don't have anything good to say about it either. But yeah, like, I uh, guess I was saying, but yeah. I don't know, I got nothing to say. Nintendo, you did a good job. Very short game, sadly. By any short game, I mean like, I feel like Galaxy had a lot more... It was a lot smaller worlds, but it definitely had a lot more of a... Like, vast feeling, because you had to go from like, a world selection to a world selection. And that, granted, I know why they didn't do it in this game, just because, you know, they wanted to have one massive world kind of situation. But yeah. Thank you so much for playing my game. Thank you, Mario. Thank you for actually letting me this game, too. So, with this epilogue, we're not done exactly. We have a lot to do still. But once again, stay that for a later day. I don't want to cram you guys too much with uh, side content. But there is one little bit of side content I want to show off, just because I'm a Mario fan and I know certain things. Also, I'm counting Mario as a platformer, I'm not counting Mario as like uh, the Paper Mario and stuff, because Paper Mario is a whole different bucket of fish. But yeah, they throw you in the Mushroom Kingdom. Now, fun little trivia about this. This is also... The Mushroom Kingdom used in Mario 64, believe it or not. It's peaceful. The Moon Kingdom is a uh, dream after all. Good thing it wasn't, uh, we saving the, yeah, the nightmare is over. Well, I like traveling, so why do we, uh, so I don't have to end the journey. Yep. I bet we can like even more power moons in our travels. So far, yep. So I skipped out on a lot of power moves to begin with, because there's so damn many. But um, yeah, this is Mario 64, we got Luigi here. Hi Luigi, oh, I want to talk to you actually. Uh, 
Uh, I want to connect to a network and play on. Uh, uh, we'll do that a, a separate time. Cause I, I've never done that. I'm very curious, but I'll probably get like some friends of mine to like guest commentate the next couple parts of this because it's gonna be boring pretty much by myself. But eh, boring isn't always that bad. Or I'll do on stream. I feel like this might be a better stream game to do. Me personally, not me. Like saying I'm definitely gonna do on stream. Yep, this is the exact same design they used in Mario 64. I guess I'll pick Mario because Paper Mario also had like the exact same design, but Paper Mario didn't have that sun panel thing. I don't know. Paper Mario's weird. It's a good game though. Hi, right, Toadette. <laughs> Once again, always had to have that throwaway to Mario 64. So, we have a lot to do in the Mushroom Kingdom period. The Moon Kingdom, I skipped out on all of them purposely. The Bowser Kingdom, there's a lot to do I haven't even touched on yet. The Ruin Kingdom, there's some I don't even know how to get. The Lunchdown Kingdom, we still have to do a lot of stuff in that. And every kingdom, once again, has a lot to do in it. You're definitely not done with this game by any stretch. Actually, I'm curious, because I've done... Wait, Cloud Kid? Oh, I know. Why? Mushroom Kingdom? No, I want it. Cap Kingdom has a lot, right? 17? That's enough. Yeah, this is going to take me a while. I'm definitely not going to know how to do a lot of them anyways, just because I've never really done them. So I'll probably like refer back to my practice file and just do some of these cameras so I know what I'm doing and that's gonna So it's not being blind or boring for you guys. As for me, like I like playing this game. It's a good casual, like, kinda sit down situation. But yeah, I pretty much gave all my thoughts about this game already. Do I plan to do more games like these? Probably. Just gotta try to make conversation with myself for a bit, just because we kind of have a little bit of time just to kid around and do stuff. Hold on. Oh, that's really awesome. I like that touch to it. Is this a bounce pad? It is a bounce pad. But yeah, like, I never really explored the Mushroom Kingdom at all. This is a fun little experiment for me. So what other games I have plans to play? I have a couple games I have plans to play. It's just more or less whenever I get around to doing stuff like this again. So I mean, for right now, in the tens of recording this, I. Well, yeah, it's definitely a good starting point for Super Mario Odyssey until we come back to a later, on a later date or probably on a stream or whatnot. So, until next time, I'll see you guys later.